Hey yo, it's a talk show host, Kana Lassiter. Join me for an episode of Relations, the most lit, lit hour of adult conversation. Hold up, hold up, you know you can't forget about me. It's 51 Spade, Alpha Male G-O-D, one half of Relations. You want to hear the truth? Can, 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 you, can, you, can you handle the truth? It's where it's at, baby. It's where it's at, baby. What's good? Welcome to an all new episode of Relations. My name is Kana Lassiter. Say it with me now, Alpha Male G O D 51 Spade, aka the ninja you love to hate. I'm in the building. You already know how we do this. We cover two topics in one hour. So let's jump right in. Our first topic tonight is going to be are women entitled or are men tricking them off the I street? I just said she got the title wrong. And I told her she was going to correct her the minute that she said it. Mm -hmm. It's entitled relationships. Again. Mm hmm. Whatever. And the second topic is going to be you should be able to get your partner off no matter how you lay them down. We're going to save that topic to take us out this evening. So we're going to start with this whole entitlement argument. The topic is supposed to be the entitlement in relationships. So we'll keep it there so it remains unisex. But I really believe that niggas is tricking women <clears throat> off the street. That's what I believe. So the, the entitlement comes in when a woman gets into a relationship and she looks at the suitor that she chose, because fast forward to now her checking up all her boxes and her saying, okay, he meets all the requirements to be a husband. It is okay for her to, to, to want a husband. And it's okay for her to, after she has checked off all of her boxes, to say, okay, this guy's qualified to be my husband. And it's okay for her to want to marry, want to cohabitate, do all the things that get her to the journey of the altar. That is fine. I don't call that entitlement. I call that having fucking standards. OK, and I do believe a lot of men meet women's standards. That's how they check all the fucking boxes It's after <clears throat> they move them in or get them pregnant, make them make life changing choices or assist, not make because we all know how alpha male is. We can't make y'all do nothing. But if you assist in this person making a life altering decision, like having a baby or leaving the state where she lives with, leaving her friends and family, then you are assisting in these choices and you are doing things to make her think that you are that guy. So if you're not that guy, just don't pretend to be and therefore she won't think of you as that guy. Therefore, this whole entitlement argument that you have is not even in place. Women feel entitled, one, I hate the word entitled. I don't feel entitled to anything. I think I deserve this. I think I deserve it. And because I deserve it, I go after the people who I think are deserving of me. And after I've done all my due diligence and I've checked off all my boxes, it's okay for me to say, where's my commitment? There's nothing wrong with that. You know? Yeah. About time. It's killing me over here, boy. I was like, damn. All this, gonna hot, be, all this you know hot, what? You all this hot really wind. really going to make just, me mad today. Just, all this hot wind just wasn't fucking with me today. Uh, you know, the thing that's real crazy about um, this actual topic, this topic is actually uh, a, a unisex type thing. This topic is actually... It's both gendered. It's both genders. This topic is actually a, a, a unisex type thing. So, there's situations that go where people are entitled. And kind of don't like the word, but... Entitles in the dictionary. And when you look at entitlement, I'm quite sure you're going to see a whole bunch of people who feel that they are entitled to things. People think they're entitled to money. When you become rich, you, you have friends that think like, because you got it, you should give it to them. And then you also have like males who feel like they be in relationships and they marry a woman and they feel like they entitled for that woman to treat them a certain way. Like, give them sex when they want to be obedient or whatever the case may be. And you also have women who feel that they entitled, especially when they start giving pussy away in not a relationship that they trap dudes in relationships. And then talking about they did due diligence as Kano was talking about, which they never do. And the thing that I find real funny about 
women who speak about doing due diligence is they always the one with egg on their face. Always the one, the one with pie on their face. Pow. And that is one of the things that I always have a problem with because they don't do the due diligence. You do due diligence when you in a, when they go to school and then you're trying to strive to get a good grade. You know how to go study, do your homework, and do all those type of things to get a good grade. When they go for jobs and stuff like that, they can't get the job unless they really do the work that goes into it. But for some reason, when it comes to relationships, they don't ever do that. They skip steps and do everything. You say that because someone is in a relationship with someone, it's all right for you to want to be married. But do you ask them, do they want to be married? Do you ask them, do they want to cohabitate? Do you ask them, well, what do you see yourself with us in the next five to 10 years? And this is like typical question. They even ask at a job interview. They don't ask any of this shit. Some men don't ask some of this shit. If I meet a woman at a strip club and I start dating them, and that's how they make their money. I don't assume because I'm making a tremendous amount of money that that automatically jumps them off the pole. That's a conversation that has to be had. Now, I could see some guys that just like, hey, I make all this money. You don't need, need to get off the pole or you don't need to have, get off Instagram or you don't need to do any of these things. But that's an entitled move. And I noticed that most people in relationships, they do entitled things. You claim that you feel that that's just setting standards. Nothing wrong with setting standards. But there's two of y'all. You have a standard and the other person has a standard. And because his standard in your case, which is a man, doesn't meet with yours, she calls this bullshit like, like some shit like tricking off the street or whatever the case may be because you're gullible and you don't use your brain to use the initial tools that are here for everybody to use, such as your parents, or even asking simple questions, all of a sudden it's the other person's fault. It's not your fault. It's the other person's fault. I think it certainly is the other person's fault if they've stepped in the in the shoes of someone who you deem to be your knight in shining ar shining armor. What I mean by this is, is you come in and now you paying the rent. You come in and I used to drive a Honda. Now you got me in a Lexus. Mm -hmm. You know, you moved me from my two bedroom to a three bedroom, three bath house with a pool. So you're you believe... doing all these. You're moving. You're and I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Don't make assumptions. But you're doing things that men don't do for women every day. So you believe in half divorces then. You believe that once a man comes in that he should give up half his shit. That's what you're saying. I believe whatever position in which a man puts his wife in. <laughs> When if she's put in work, absolutely, entitlement. because I know what being a house this not entitlement. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It, this, it's entitlement. The point is, and which is another topic, y'all motherfuckers just don't value okay. what what wives do at home. I'm not saying that. I'm just. Yeah, yeah, if, but you're, saying, you're but questioning you, but, no, what she's asking for after a marriage. Half, you certainly don't I said, value. I said half. I didn't say she. Thank God that ain't I, the topic because it'll be heated. I didn't. I didn't. I did It's nothing to be heated. You can have your own opinion, and that's what this is about. This is about having your own opinion. But the problem is, your opinion is wrong. For, the, for whoever is in front of you. You can have that opinion. And what I said was half. So you just feel that no matter what it is, they just deserve no, half. Well, that's, that's what you just said. Uh, that's, but, that's what you, but that's what I asked. I didn't say about it. No, I don't I believe. Just, I, I, let I believe talk, every situation is talk. different. You didn't I let me let, answer, though. I, you did answer. You gave an answer, and now I'm rebuttaling you. You gave an answer. I know exactly what happened. I gave an answer. You said, hey, motherfuckers, just don't, uh, just don't know. Right, what so I never said yes or no. I just said y'all don't value what a wife does you if you're said, even asking. Okay. If so, you have to ask, so then you go. don't value. I'm going to play the rewind again. I did this in the last episode when oh she said that she God. didn't say something and then I had to play rewind. So Ooh, I want y'all to remember that I said I'm going to hit rewind because she didn't answer. That's what you're sticking by? I did not answer completely, no. <laughs> no, I say is that what you're sticking by? You didn't give an answer? I'm sticking by that. Gotcha. Watch this. I believe that once a man comes in that he should give up half his shit. That's what you're saying. I believe whatever position in which a man puts his wife in, when if she's put in work, absolutely. <laughs> but anyway, now, just because someone steps into the place, this is the thing that I have where I'm, I'm going to have a problem with that. There is a such thing as someone just being who they are. Some people are just generous. Some people are just nice. Some people just give, just to give. And that's just who they are as a person. 
if you get confused by the idea of what a, what a person actually is, that would be your fault. And how I know this, how you, and how I know this, and how you don't know this is because this happens to men all the time. Men going to a restaurant probably, and the waitress is just overly nice. The man might say to himself, well, God damn, you know, she's smiling at me, this and that. I might just go ahead and go ahead and get that number. And she just like, I'm a server. I'm just, this is what I do. I'm just being, <laughs> I'm being courteous and being nice. But the man takes it a different way because that's how he perceived it. Now, that's just one example. Now, for you to say that you had a, you know, I, I'm going to go out on a limb here. So you pick fucked up men. You, you picked up fucked up men. Then some man steps in and he's just better than the other men that you picked that was fucked up. He takes responsibility of all the fucked up men you did because he meet the boxes that the mother motherfuckers didn't. They got all the rewards. They recouped all this shit. Got all the pussy. Got all the deep throat. Got all the dishes washed. Got all this shit done. And now all of a sudden, he has to step in and just, I'm husband shit. That's what you're telling me. I'm telling you that it's hard out here in these streets. <laughs> and this is the world that we live in. And per every 20 men, I, was, I don't know the real statistic. I'm going to make up one. I feel like for every, I'm not going to go on. I'm, 20 is too many. I'm going to make up one. <laughs> I'm going to say, just to give an example, I would say every 10 men that I meet or met when I was single, every 10 checked off 80% of the boxes. Every 10, so nine ain't it, and the 10th one only checks off 80%, which means there's still four there that he did not check off. Mm. So it's hard out here in these streets. So yes, mm. if I'm at my 10th motherfucker and he's checking off box after box after box, I'm going on trips, I'm going on vacation, he's showing me this is who he is, mm. by the way, A nice guy. not who he's pretending to be. I get now y'all want to say oh I was just being kind but no, when a mother, I'm, I'm when, but when you fly out when you fly out a IG model and you pay for her hotel and her dinner y'all want to put her on the internet and put her on blast for not assuming she should be there to smash thanks but he still was who he was. He so don't don't try to turn this around when I'm. <laughs> what did when, I change? When there's good girls out here dating change. and they're dating men who have buttoned up their tie and put on their jacket and being chivalrous, open up doors, mm -hmm. flying them across country, getting them fucking pregnant, mm -hmm. and then saying, you know what? I didn't really have this in mind. Mm -hmm. What the fuck do you mean? You've been flying me around. You've been fucking me, nutting in me. Mm -hmm. You changed my whole fucking life. I've now made a big life change because now I'm a mommy. Mm -hmm. And now you want to expose to me that this wasn't the idea? Mm -hmm. That's fucked up. And that is tricking a bitch off the street. Okay. Period. Mm -hmm. Stupidity is still stupidity. And every time you see it, you see gullible written across their face every, every day. time we see it. And I watch this day in and day out because women say the same horse shit day in and day out about someone making them do something they don't want to do especially in today's society which is which is real amazing to me because it's 2022 so we're not we're in a term of uh, we're in a world of we don't need men men don't ain't shit and all this type of shit and what's even crazier behind that is then you i'm glad you said that because she said the key word some dude that is a good man but this is the problem that i have with that shit right there can't be a good man all of a sudden. Always had to be an asshole at some point in time. Ignore every red flag that there is. Got caught cheating. But maybe I should give him the benefit of the doubt. He slapped the shit out of me. Oh, that, that shit ain't gonna happen no more. R choked this shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he was just going through a rough patch. You know what I'm saying? He just, he was having a rough time at, at work. Uh, your, your idea of a good man and then sitting there trying to say that he did something to you when you have free will, especially now, to do whatever it is that you want to do. Y'all want to be equal. Y'all don't want to see yourselves as beneath men and everything else. Now, I get what you're saying as far as, hey, this person did something, so I feel a certain way. But this is where it's wrong at. Talking about checked off the boxes. Now, that is definitely where you're fucking absolutely wrong, period. Because if he checked off the boxes, some of these motherfuckers can't get past three fingers, let alone a hand. 
Because I'm quite sure you could say five things that they didn't check off, but you ignore those damn you things. You do, ah, because ah, you've been ah, waiting ah, 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 forever. Ah, 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 ah. You can't even get past five fingers, but all of a sudden, this nigga's marriage material. All of a sudden, <laughs> this nigga is baby daddy of the year and all this type of shit. When they show you who you are, the problem is you didn't do your due diligence like you said. It came out your mouth because you didn't. Because one, if you did do your due diligence, you wouldn't have ignored all these red flags. And then what's, it, what's even crazier is that you talk to your friends, your friends even tell you that you're crazy. You don't take them to your parents because your parents will vet, you, vet them and then tell you that this is definitely not the man for you. And you make your own decision, which is a fucked up decision. And by you making a fucked up decision, now you want someone to blame. Because we all know how accountability is to women. Allergic. They are just allergic to accountability because this is the same asshole that he been. Bill Clinton didn't become an asshole all of a sudden with Monica Lewinsky. He been fucking off. We in Arkansas. Anybody that even seen the documentaries or anything that go on, everybody was like, Bill from Arkansas? But she sent this nigga <laughs> to the presidential suite <laughs> with no pussy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Sent him to the highest place possible and was like, be all you can be. Even though he was being all he can be in Arkansas. <laughs> fucking around up there. Even when I saw the shit, I thought Bill was just nothing on goddamn blouses. He putting cigars off him. <laughs> <laughs> this type of shit that I'm going on. And you let this nigga run wild. But that would be, you know what? I'm <laughs> glad that you use that. Because now thinking as a young woman, and I'm going to be Monica. I, and he's married. But he's the fucking president, so he's gonna check off ninety <laughs> percent. Stop it. it! He's the president. He's married, bitch. I know, but he's still gonna. Check, and that's why he doesn't check off a hundred percent of the boxes. He checks off ninety percent. But guess what? Ten percent is he has a wife, but he's also the president. He's married. Every the biggest red flag that there is, and and let me correct. I wasn't calling her a bitch. I was saying to Monica Lewinsky, bitch. You know what I'm saying? But. The biggest red flag. She just said, checked off all the boxes. He but does. The, it's the, the fucking president. And he's he's going to check off a whole bunch of boxes until and we get down to the fact that, yes, he's married. Okay, we get married that. Married first. <laughs> okay, but listen. Look at what you're asking, though. No, I'm not asking anything. Yes, I'm you are. You're no, telling. <laughs> yes, you are. I know I'm not. You, yes, you, you are. You're doing what men in power do. You're putting a... You are a... We turn into children quick. No, it's not that we're turning into children, but it's it's her. It's Monica. It's someone who is not the best looking person in the world. I doesn't Monica have was okay. Monica was to me. I would smash. I'm just saying... What you talking about? In a class of other women. She ain't in the top fucking three. Well, damn, in, like not, Bill, not in the eyes of the president of the United States. Bill Clinton is not goddamn... Br uh, uh, but, <laughs> but he could still have a porn star. He could still date a cheat with a fucking actress. He's the president is what I'm trying to say. And you're talking about an intern. You're That's talking right. about somebody that sits behind a desk and answers a fucking phone. So she, he, to her... Fuck 90%. He's going to check off 95% because of her confidence, gotcha. because of her age, gotcha. because of the level of career she's at. Are you kidding me? Let's gotcha. not ignore fucking normal biology well, and the things that are going on inside of your body when you're that young and you are in the presence of the most powerful person in the world. You know what's so crazy to me is in 2022, this is the most horse shit that I've ever heard from women when they start saying shit about women who can't make decisions for themselves. Now, now in this world, I'm just giving just giving an example. In this world, we've had queens that became queens at 13, 12, all this type of shit and was able to lead. But this is the difference though. The difference is they still had courtship, you know what I'm saying? They had a hand, they had people that Advisors. could guide them. Yeah. They they had a, they had someone that could guide them. But for some reason, all y'all females like to run amok. And then, once y'all run amok, want to say it's somebody else's fault. The biggest red flag that I just mentioned was Mary. And she tried to justify some shit about some other boxes. The <laughs> biggest red flag that I said was the nigga was married. But for some reason, kind of like, 
But he, but, but I understand her, her, her choice. We checked off all the boxes. But what I'm saying is about to re, to just totally ignore the idea that he was married shows me something is wrong with you. I'm not saying that it can't be. I'm just saying that something is wrong with you. If you ignoring the biggest red flag, and that's why I brought this up when I was saying like, your women will say shit like, and not only women, men too. Kanye can't turn a hoe into a housewife. But he trying to put her in the home. You know what I'm saying? Now she out in the streets where she like to be, where she comfortable. You know what I'm saying? She cozy. You know what I'm saying? But he like, I married you. I gave you kids. You know what I'm saying? I, I just want you to be my wife. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to pose. You don't have to do all this type of thing. She like, I like it out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's just what it boiled down to. I like it out here. But, only person that's gonna push back is probably this one right here. But everybody else saw the writing on the wall. Ray J, Reggie Bush, like all these other people saw the writing on the wall. This bitch is not, you know what I'm saying, not what it is. Like she tricked us off the street. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, like if you really wanna start going there, like we, we can go there then. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Gloves is on. You know what I'm saying? She tricked him I off can't a hundred percent disagree with you. I cannot because I am loving the conversation of tricking whoever off the street. If you presented yourself to <clears> be <throat> one way, well, come on, let's be honest. Whether you are a man or whether you're a woman, it's hard out here for everybody. Men are complaining that women aren't what they used to be traditionally, and women are complaining that they can't find a good man. It's very hard for both. So when you find that person who you feel like you've made a connection with and the person that you can get married and start a family with. Yeah, there are some things Kanye should have recognized and said, I don't know whether she's going to hold up. Yes, I feel like she wants to be married because she's done it before me. Mm -hmm. Yes, I feel like she could have the potential to have kids because she comes from a big family. Mm -hmm. So I can't say he was completely dumb. Mm -hmm. There were things that, sh that he saw, all of us saw mm -hmm. over the years of getting to know the family mm -hmm. that would have said, okay, maybe, but... 90%, I will put Kim in the same category. 90% of Kanye's boxes were checked off when it came to Kim. Mm -hmm. There was 10% down there that was unchecked, and that was had to do with career, all the things that he really wasn't sure about, 100%, and maybe he should have been sure before he gave her four mm -hmm. babies. I will agree with you to that. Instead and I only want to agree because, I only want to agree because I want everybody to adopt this term, mm -hmm. that you're still being <laughs> tricked off the street, whether yeah. it was a man that did it to you, or whether a, it was a woman that did gotcha. it to you. You still were tricked. You're so being, yes, Kanye was tricked. Nope, Do you know who nope, else was tricked? Nope, Chloe nope, was tricked. Nope. You're being entitled, and that's the problem. Entitled and, to what? To what we deserve? Well, Kanye's to, entitled what, to want a you, wife whatever, and a person to stay home with his kids? No, he, no. But you entitling yourself to the other person to make them say that what it is that they should give to you, and that is not true. That is an absolutely false statement. Whatever your wants are, cool. I don't have a problem with your wants, but let's use common sense. Let's at least just use your brain at one point in time. The problem is this. People get in a relationship, then they start feeling entitled because they feel like, they want to make another person do what it is that they feel they want to do. They don't, you know, one of the things that Kevin Samuels used to say a lot that I feel a lot of people didn't bring up is he would be like, you got to hash out your contract because that's what a marriage is. You got to hash out your contract. That's what relationships are not. You got to hash out your contract. And this is what people don't do because what they end up doing is I can now speak from a man perspective. A woman, she gives you pussy, and then she thinks that she's just entitled to everything. First, she thinks she's entitled to the relationship. We fuck. We go together. Okay? Then, let's just say, for instance, that a person is now, uh, you know, he's transcending to make money. And he have, you know, he's just on the verge, and then you see something. But y'all never had a conversation about y'all moving in. You just assume this. You never had a conversation about marriage. You just check off boxes in your brain. Your brain. Not coming to the forefront because this is the thing about honesty. What I find funny is that women who often say, tell me the truth, tell me the truth, lie to themselves when the shit is right there in front of their face. They lie and don't want to have truthful conversations even about what they want. If you want to move in with somebody, then have that conversation. Don't wait until you get pregnant and then after the fact saying we should live together. 
Don't wait till you have a child to say, well, we have a child that we should get married and then get mad at the person because that's not what they wanted. You can have whatever standards that you want. You can go after what you want. I'm not even saying that you're wrong for going to the person and saying, well, damn, you know what I'm saying? We did all these things. Which you, where your mistake is that you upset at the other person because that's not what they wanted. No, I'm, and if I'm upset did, at the other person because the other person's did, not taking any if, accountability for what he did, chose. And if you did your due diligence, then you wouldn't arrive in the shit show that you in. And that's the problem. When you arrive at the shit show, it's because it is made up shit that you had in your head about, well, he treat me better than some nonsense you talking about. Well, he treat me better than the rest of these assholes, so you just don't want to get back out there. Cool, I understand all that. Who want to get back out there with the rest of these assholes? But you can't put that shit on the other person. If the other person is not what they wanted, and they check off all these boxes, then start having the conversation to say, hey, do you see us married? Do you see yourself with children? Do you see us with children? Like, these are real, like, simple questions. Do you see yourself monogamous? Like, these are real honest answers that I feel like is in relationships that we don't have and then we run into like problems and then mad they come and then one person is mad and the other one person is trying to move on. So I'm just trying to have a real conversation about like not about your standards but to understand that you didn't do your due diligence on and what's you, going and on. And you and men don't either. Because I don't the see men. men not the one I don't see men taking off their condom. Mm. Like, well, before I take off my condom, you know, my, my, my stroke game week, and I might nut in it. So before I nut in you, you understand that we might get an abortion. You understand before you get pregnant, I never plan on living with you. You understand that before you get pregnant, I'm not interested in marriage. You're putting it all on the woman saying that she should have to ask you questions that in any other time, <clears throat> what, what, what is the saying? What's understood don't have to be said. There are a lot of things that Everybody. I have done in my relationship that my man shouldn't have never had to ask me. And he didn't have to ask me. There were things that I showed up to do. I showed up and showed out. And that's what you're supposed to do. You shouldn't have to be begging like mm. a dog. Well, look at me. I cleaned up for, for 365 days but straight. That's what women do. You know, can we get to the next level now? Fuck that. No, but, we should not. But, but we should not have do. to every 60 days come to you like a little puppy and say, not look at me. That. Look at me. Can I get a ring now? Guess, no, thank you. Guess what? You don't have to do that. But you wouldn't have to do that if you did your due diligence in the beginning. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, I feel like women been hit with a rock or something. It's not even like. And it's not a woman thing because it's men that do that because Kanye probably feel like he been hit with a rock. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? So it's really that he just didn't do his due diligence. He didn't talk to her about like, hey, once we get married and I become a, and once I become a pastor, are you going to quit? Yeah. You know, I don't need you chiming in. Uh, I, I, like those are the type of things that you're supposed to have a conversation with. And I'm not mad at the I'm not mad or putting it on a woman. I'm putting it on the person that's upset. Whether that is man or woman. If Kanye is upset, that's his choice that he made. Dummy. You know what I'm saying? If that is the choice that you made, that's your choice. Dummy. That's the choice that you made. Especially if you didn't do your if you didn't do the correct work. Now, you are right if y'all had the conversation and then the person reneged. If the person just blatantly out lied. Then you have a point on what you're talking about. But in a lot of these cases, that's not the point. But I do think that your whole act, I think the whole James Bond act is a lie. I think sweeping me off my fucking feet and flying me everywhere, taking me on vacations, having raw sex with me, having me make your food, having me rub your back, having me do girlfriend wifey shit is lying to me. Mm. Especially if that's Who not your you fucking that? intent. Who made you do that? It's not about who's making that's You a, know what you're doing. Why question. don't you admit that men do what they have to do who, to get what they want? Gotcha. And sometimes who, it's a lie. Who made you do those things? No one did. Okay, so then that's the But why won't you <laughs> say that at least it's the same as a woman putting you on a, on a nighty? If she put on lingerie, that means she wants some dick. So if you're taking me out on vacation and buying me dinner and doing all this shit, you know what you're doing. At least admit that you know what you're doing. I understand that men have to do certain things and play certain positions to get certain shit. Mm -hmm. And that's cool with me. It's cool until so me it's cool until what you've done has led me down a path if if we have been dating and you've been mm -hmm. playing me this whole time and now i live in japan nigga i'm mad at you gotcha. i'm not gonna blame it on me you got me from fucking florida all the way to japan gotcha. because you're just being fucking nice gotcha my question to you 
which has yet to be answered, is there's a such thing as someone being who they are because that sometimes is the case. People that are generous are just generous, and some people get that confused. But the answer still, you ain't answered. Did you have the conversation with this person? I don't give a Before, fuck. Or, I don't give a fuck about if he took a rub off this and that. Did you have a conversation with the person about how they views on marriage? Did you have a conversation with that person what they views on having a child? Did you have a conversation with that person on moving in? Now you can say someone can be as nice as they want to be, flights, trips, this and that. None of that shit equates. I want to marry you. None of that shit equates. How doesn't it not? None of that shit. None of that. Verbally? None of that shit equates. I want to marry you. None of that shit equates to you moving in. None of that shit equates to I want to have a family with you. None of it. Not one iota, zilch, nothing. Now you want to have that conversation? Then be woman enough to have that conversation. Just like I'm telling. Just like and and just like I was telling Kanye. Have the real conversation. Don't just assume that Kim going to stop being out here showing the titties, sh showing her body, modeling naked, doing all that type of shit. He assumed that shit. Entitlement. And I don't think he was wrong for assuming. Look at that. I'm not saying he I was wrong. I don't think it's wrong. I'm that's why I said that's wrong. not entitlement. That's what the man fucking deserves. He that's got a billion right. dollars in the bank. He's in fashion. He's in music. Gotcha. He's the, one of the biggest celebrities in the world. And Why would he assume that she wouldn't need to sell her body she or does. images of her body once she got married? Why is that okay? Why is it not okay for him to assume that? He can assume whatever he wants. I'm all, like I said, I'm mad at the person for not having the conversation with that person. You can assume anything you want, and that's what's wrong because I don't understand how someone cannot get having a truthful, honest conversation about what they want. Why are you, like, two people lying, Is none, nothing is coming out good. You're talking about a person doing all these things. So you say, oh, well, that person is lying. Well, the other yeah. person is lying too. Because the other person is in their mind saying, I want to have a child. The other person in their mind saying, I want to move in. The other person in their mind saying, I, I'm, I want to marry this person. The other person is lying too. They're Just lying. To themselves, they're, 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 I don't give a fuck what they're lying to. The to other person. They are lying to the other person because they spring it on the other person when shit gets real. Right. After they're holding a baby or living a different fucking country? That are you kidding me? After we're holding, I, it's nuts. It's insane that we live in a world that a person could be holding a baby, baby saying, can we move in together? Mm -hmm. You just gave, you just had a baby. You have to raise this child together. There, There's nothing in you my mind saying that. some somebody that I had a baby from, there is no question in my mind that we've already had the conversation about go have, or there is no question in my mind that I have it in my head that that's I mean, what the direction that we're going if we're let fucking me procreating. Let me ask you a question. How many, um, how many boyfriends would you say you've had? Boyfriends? Yeah. Three. You had boy you had three boyfriends. Have yeah. you had a conversation with each one of those boyfriends about moving in? Two. Yeah. Out two. of the one. Out of the three. Yes. Okay. And did you move in with them? Yes. So you had that conversation. So yes. you think every woman does that? I can't say every woman does. No. <laughs> I can't because I'm not every woman. No. Gotcha. I'm not just, every woman I'm just does. In, in, just in general. But being a young being general. a woman, I would assume that, that, we go with that I would say if I had to put money on do most women do or would I put my money on most women not? I would say most women do only because we grow up. So let me ask you a question. Thinking about cohabitating. So how, how did, how did so you asked the two boyfriends and they just said yes immediately. Um, The first boyfriend I moved in with was my high school boyfriend. So he moved both in of with, us. He were, moved in with you or you? No, we got an apartment together. That was a natural progression. Well, we're going to get our own place. We're young. And so that's why that conversation was on our mind because okay. we both want to get out of our parents' homes. Gotcha. And so, so the, he was running. So, right. Gotcha. So now the next one. So the next one that you had, y'all had a conversation and he immediately said yes. No, I can't tell you when he did say yes. I don't think he even gave me an answer. I think I <laughs> said to him, I, you know, I'm lonely. I don't like that you have to leave for several days at a time. At my age, I want to be living with somebody. And he didn't give me a yes or no at that time. It just eventually happened where he was like, okay, on this day, I am going to come. I'm going to give this a try. We put in enough time and I'm going to give it a go. Okay. Easy. So, so it wasn't. Uh, a conversation. No, it wasn't had. a sit down. Exactly. I have to and tell that, you something. No, it wasn't. Exactly. I don't think we should have to do that. <clears throat> and you should. Uh, you're absolutely 100% sure. Because that's the thing about being in relationships that break relationships. If someone really don't want a child, 
and you assuming that you want a child, that breaks the relationship. Uh, if someone don't want to get married and then y'all already moved in and then the person, and I'm quite sure a lot of people find themselves in these situations when they've been with their boyfriend or girlfriend 16, 17 years and the woman is sitting there saying, I want to get married and man like, hey, I moved in with you. That's a conversation to be had. You see what I'm saying? But they don't have that conversation. So two people are sitting there lying to themselves. Now, the only person who's the most upset about the shit is, to me, the person who is not that vocal about the shit. They know what they want in their mind. Won't say it and just want the other person to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Now, typically it's women because women think that men are mind readers. So they just like, well, he should figure this out <laughs> because I've been doing this or I've been doing that. But that's not true. It's not that hard to have a conversation. Now, do people have that conversation? I agree with you. People don't have that conversation. Who I'd be upset with, though, is the person who has the most disdain and anger from that shit. Because this person, nine times out of ten, ignores every red flag that shows that this person isn't that person for you anyway. And that's the real reason why they upset. Because this person isn't showing that shit. This person isn't showing uh, husband material. This person isn't showing that uh, I want to have a baby with you and we should cohabitate. The bitch assumes that shit. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you, you something. You can't... <laughs> what destroys a lot of things... I'm going to use a, a really simple example. I give my man a gift. Wrapped up pretty, nice, everything. A week go by, the gift ain't open. <clears throat> Got to remind him to open up the gift. Okay? Then the gift gets open. Something you don't know because he opened it at night or something. You see the wrapping, so you know he opened it. So you ask, damn, you opened the gift? How did you like it? I loved it. You know, even though you said you loved it, you have taken all the fucking joy out of fucking buying you a goddamn gift. Because I had, to I had to remind you to open it. Then I had to ask you if you liked it. That is the equivalent to what you're saying to me. That a woman could do everything possible <clears throat> and that she's still every, everything possible, meaning clean, cook, have a career, be fit, showing you that she wants to fill the position of wife, showing you that she can fulfill the position of wife. She then needs to ask you if it's okay to fill that position? God damn it. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, no, I, and fucking I, no, absolutely. no. Absolutely. That's the same thing as I'm not going to come to you and say, damn, do you, you, I can ask you. Yeah, I can come to you and ask you if you'd like the gift because I'm the one that obviously wants the answer. But even after telling me that it made you happy, you took away my joy. And that's not fair. It's taking Life away joy. Fair. If I have to ask for my own flowers, Life. then it's not the same when I get the flowers because I have to inside all my girlfriends like, oh my God, he's so sweet. But they don't know that I had to ask him to send me the motherfuckers. If I told them that well, girl, you know I had to ask him to send him on the date. I had to write it on the calendar and do the whole thing. It changes their reaction. It's like, damn, girl, you had to do all that to get some fucking flowers? I got you. And, then, and, the, and the whole part of that story is he was that person when you met him. So I don't want to hear any of that shit that you talking I'm about. Ready because, to change because, because women say the same bullshit day in and day out. and thinking they making points, especially when they get loud. They think that they huffing and puffing and this and that like a big bad wolf. A bunch of bu About a bunch of bullshit that has nothing to do with that. That person was the same way before you, after you, acts the same way with everybody else. You better say look, this than you, say you, damn, you, that's fucked you, up. You, you look at that. No, because you're trying to give a person, like, making it seem like, well, this person needs to act, and that's the problem. Women want to say, the person needs to act this way. When he acts that way with everybody else, because nine times out of ten, I get that from just me, myself. Oh, at least I know you that way across the board. But no, men don't get credit for that type of shit, because for... for any man that's always so a woman that do the exact same horse shit. You know how many times I've asked my old lady not to do some shit? Just does what she want to do. And then have the idea to sit there and say, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't understand like why a person is mad. You know what I'm saying? Beats to the, 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 the sound of her own drum. Knowing that it'll piss the person off or piss me off. That's why it makes it easier for me to say no when she really want to do some shit. Because all that time that you ignored me, I just put it in a tally bag. And then when you really want to do some shit, guess what my answer is? With no emotion. Nope. Just simple and plain. And that's how simple it is. You can change topics now. Thank God, because I am super ready <laughs> to get over this conversation with him. So the next topic is, 
how to you what well, you should not how to but you should know how to get your partner off no matter how you lay them down now the reason why i picked this topic is because i agree i'm a fan of man i don't think a man wants the same meal first of all for the rest of his life but i certainly don't believe that he wants a meal served the same way Sometimes you want to eat at the kitchen, sometimes you want to eat at the bar, sometimes you want to eat in the dining room, and sometimes you want to eat in the living room in front of the TV. So, it's all eating. The food is going to get eaten, and it's going to go to your belly, and you're not going to be hungry anymore. That's not true for sex. Sometimes you want it on your back, sometimes you want it from the back, but your woman might not get off from the back. So, what can we do to make sure she's getting off from the back so that she's eating too? That's important. Mm -hmm. I think women should go see therapists or sex workers. And when I say sex workers, I mean there's um, women out here. Like, there's classes now um, that have, like, sexologists that talk about um, the blocks that women have. Because for women, it is very mental. That's why I said, like, it's not a God's responsibility for that. Because a lot of times women have blocks. Uh, I've ran into women who's told me they never came from insertion they only came from head or playing with themselves, and that's not really on the man you know the man can fuck every which way and position and everything else but there's a mental block up there with the woman so without the woman to go seek some help the man is just going to be running up and running up into a wall now keep in mind how also men view sex because of how uh, the media and women talk about sex um, they need a man dingo. They, they need a man with a big dick and this and that. If he can't touch my walls, I don't even know what he's doing down there. And this also gets in the mind frame of men. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times, I've heard women say, well, "Shit, I I need a six inch penis or a four inch penis." So my my G spot is like right there. I, I heard a woman the other day on a podcast said this dude had the littlest dick ever and made her come the most. But I'm quite sure he was just fucking. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't doing anything special. It was just, it was the position that they was in because he was little and then she probably put herself in the position. But he isn't doing anything. He's just happy to be there. So a lot of times, I would say for women, you need to find out, like, what your block is. Now, you can't have that conversation with your, uh, with your significant other. But, hey, let's not just stop there. Because, boy, let me tell you something about these women. These women are lazy when it comes to sex. They think they just God's gift to men. Because you want to talk about, like, getting a motherfucker off. Like, you don't even want to go into my bedroom territory. Because, look here. Let me tell you something right now. My woman is not equipped for that type of shit. She is not equipped for what I want in the bedroom. And couldn't give me what I want in the bedroom. Because there are certain things that I morph into at different times. So for you to even make that statement to sit there and say, well, hey, the other person needs to lay it down. Man, if I told my woman to do some of the shit, she wouldn't even last, wouldn't even make it. Not at all. Not even a little bit because how she receives sex and how I receive sex. Y'all keep saying this shit about, uh, what is it? Uh, love languages. Love languages. Yeah, yeah, love language. She couldn't get my shit right if she tried. She could flip four quarters up and the motherfuckers would just, she would just pick one. She could not tell me exactly how I would want it because she has no idea. A lot of women don't put in work for sex. They just beat up. They lay on their back and they beat up. I think I disagree. I know you do. <laughs> I disagree because... Someone who don't put in no work. <laughs> well, I mean, for... You're saying that it's a mental thing, but sometimes it isn't mental. I think y'all are stuck on that. For me... It's just, it's not, I mentally, I can close my eyes and go anywhere sexually. I can be horny anywhere. Be horny at dinner, at the movie theater, or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's not the issue. For me, the issue is the parts of my body that need to be stimulated. And sometimes in the position that you put a woman in, you are nowhere near the parts of her body that need to be stimulated. I'm not disagreeing. I'm not dis the, So that has nothing <clears throat> to do with the mental block you just spent 10 minutes talking about. A, a, a lot of it is mental block because you said, uh, you, but you, you not said, you all said, of it. You said, yeah, but you said they have to make you come for every position. I heard, I know what I said. Right. And I, 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 so for every position, a lot of that, some of that, that is could be mental. mental. That could be. Uh, uh, yeah. But and, let's not escape the part that is completely physical. And if you like fucking from the back and you find out that 
your woman doesn't really get off without some type of clitorial close up, some type of friction, then fucking her from the back, her clit ain't getting no friction. Gotcha. And then you need to grab a toy or something else to get that clitoral situation. You know what I'm saying? Or, or but, not, but if you, your you, boyfriend doesn't like that, that's what I'm saying. You have to well, find. Hey, you got to reach a around. Of, a lot of men suck up <laughs> shit that we don't like. You know what I'm saying? Like, sorry. Welcome to the real world. A lot of men suck up shit we don't like. We do positions that we don't like. We do a whole bunch of shit. And, and this is where the shit, the, the bus stops here. Because I'm not even finna ride with you on no shit like this. I'm always in fan of man, gonna be man, all man, he man, alpha male, god man, all that. <laughs> so that is where we gonna part ways at. Because men put in too much work for that shit. And I'm just tired of women being lazy sitting there talking about this and that. You know what I'm saying? I was with a chick not too long ago. Man, this chick had lube and oil and gels. And I'm like, oh, shit. I mean, when she went in her bag, she went in her bag. But that's what I'm talking about. I'm like, damn, so in that, like, at least going to go there. Nah, nigga got to go home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, my woman ain't going to figure this shit out. You know what I'm saying? Been with me a long time. But she going to give me the same back action that she been giving me for a long time. And I understand that. People, you know, people get. So, again, you got to have conversations about that. And it's just depending on what you're trying to achieve out of those two things. Because I also feel like a lot of times men would do a lot more things. And not every man. So, don't, you know, don't take this out of context when I'm saying that. But I also feel that, you know, people are petty in relationships a lot of time so when a woman doesn't really do something for a man the man ain't really eager to go all out for the woman Damn. and to me that's really what it boils down to uh you hear a lot of women you know i saw i saw a clip today when they, i didn't even know this was a fucking topic who should give head first and i was like damn really who, yeah i'm like who should give head first nah i could be wrong from assuming this but on most porn the woman goes first. Yes, she does. You know? But over the years, niggas have... Niggas have got, got a, a accustomed to eating pussy for some reason. Not only pussy, but they eating Everybody. pussy and booty and Eat. every Yeah, everything Ass. that go into play and take pride in it. Now, it wasn't like that when I was coming up. <laughs> Pussy was outlaws, you know what I'm saying? You didn't eat pussy like that. Man. Now I watch niggas open, he be like, you know, you ever seen a pussy and a bitch pretty just make me want to nom, 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 nom. You know what I'm saying? And you be like, oh, okay. But they was actually having a real debate based on, you know, who would do it first. It was a panel of, you know, two dudes, two women. And there was a woman on there that said, I feel bamboozled a lot of times when I go first and then the dude don't go as long as me. And then she was like, or um, I would give him head and then his head ain't as good as my head. You see what I'm saying? And she's putting it into perspectives. But I'm like, every dude don't know how to eat pussy. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you're just assuming that he's supposed to give you head. But men don't approach it from that standpoint. They to be, but to I be like, I'm, I'm good at head. But the men who tried to sweep me off my feet definitely gave me head first. Well, they I think I mean, <laughs> cause fat dudes normally be down there first. <laughs> I'm just saying, the men who really wanted to impress me, or really I could tell that really liked me a lot, was really attracted to me, mm. or tried to get me for an extended amount of time. Mm. That's the first thing that Let me ask you a question. Out of the way. Let me ask you a question. Mm. Those dudes that you say were sweeping all your feet, they gave you head for a long time. Mm -hmm. Were they big dicks? All except for one. All except for one. Okay. Hmm, that's very interesting. Because most dudes who that have big dicks, they don't eat pussy. Majority of the time. Yeah. But these these guys just really, I think, really liked me. Or, because I, 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 I gave out the, you know, I gave the Heisman a couple of times to these to these men. So, so you I think gave they them like head? they have to prove. They get, you gave? No. I, oh, them niggas were suckers. You know what I'm saying? There was no way that I'd have went there with you. I don't give head outside of like deep committed relationships. Oh, you lying? You know what I'm saying? But that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be like feeling some type of way about you to put your. Dick I mean, on everybody, my arm. everybody need to be. I like can that. sleep with you. I just can't mm -hmm. suck your dick. That's lies. And that's the thing about it. I mean, women. 
Will y'all please stop these lies that y'all tell? I can. About, I, I, I can I, fuck I, you, but I, I can't I, suck your dick. That's, y'all, supposed, that's like will, your dick in my mouth. That's like. Will y'all please stop telling yeah. these lies that that men no longer? We know the whores in y'all <laughs> and the hole in y'all got a deal. And I'm tired of women telling these lies about <laughs> they don't suck dick. I didn't say I didn't. I just said mm. I t- didn't suck dick for people that I wasn't in deep rooted committed relationships with. And if I, I did, I'm quite because sure I remember this in, one time. I'm, I'm quite sure you were. I was in like. Rooted. I'm quite sure you wasn't in a rooted relationship with every person who was in your life. And I just was admitting when you were saying that. Yeah, when I started to That there was like this one guy, this one time, but he will even tell you, you know, I do notice that, you know, you didn't really get into the head like that. You was saying you was such a freak, but you didn't really suck my dick. I literally probably licked it once and put it halfway in my mouth. It didn't go down my throat or nothing like that. I it was simply stop. tasting the dick. I bet he didn't eat no pussy though. Ain't no and pussy. he probably didn't. Yeah, I, don't I know he didn't. <laughs> that sounds like some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But you know, alpha male God knows all, sees all. You know what I'm saying? That is the idea of being a dicksman. You know what I'm saying? We already know these type of things. <laughs> so I would say that, you know, keep in mind, I don't disagree with you about it, but I really feel like it go both ways. And the reason I think a lot of times those things don't come into play like that, don't come into play like that, is because really, I think it's a sexual war that go on where people feel they deserve certain things more more than others. Certain people just be feeling a certain way. Well, goddamn, you know, maybe if, you know, I don't know, maybe if she dressed up in lingerie a little bit more, you know, he doesn't give his 100%. Then the woman is like, you know, they don't really give their 100%, probably because they can't, the bones join it up or don't flap all the way back the way it should do, or probably childhood, I mean, uh, boyfriend trauma, you know what I'm saying, got their body locked up. So that's why I'm saying sometimes you need to go see a sex therapist because it's a lot of workers out here that is getting people on point. I just watched, um, I just watched a bitch do a whole uh, body massage you know what I'm saying? Full nude. That's how, that's she say. That's how she do it. And I thought about it at first, and I was like, you know what? I might try that. You know what I'm saying? Have someone come in because for men, sometimes women don't get it, but sometimes the arousal of another woman will have you looking at your woman a different way. You know what I'm saying? Because you'll do like some work on another one, then you're like, you know what? I'm finna go knock the head off my women. But women sometimes don't believe that. They think like if you go get some pussy and try to cop block you from going to get some pussy somewhere else, that that'll do. It's actually in reverse. Sometimes you go knock it, knock someone off and then you feel like Superman and you come knock your woman off. And she'll be like, where the fuck that came from? She don't even know. You just make sure whatever position you put her in, she's promised to get her nuts since you already got I mean, got you your- can't say that though because a lot of women sometimes, like I've been trying to get my lady to squirt since we met and it's been, you know, no bueno, you know, and I done bought the rolls, I done bought toys, I done bought, and it's just, a, it's just a middle block, you know, she tried one time, she peed on the floor, like it shit just ain't working <laughs> out the way it's supposed to work out. I'm putting in the work, I just can't get the squirt, you know what I'm saying? And that's just, that's just how it is. And then you go with, and that's another thing. Like guys, we, a lot of times do not think about like how we fuck. Like I don't think about fucking my woman. Like my woman will say like, oh my God, you made me just bust the biggest nut. I was just fucking. Like I fucked just the regular way that I fucked. I didn't do nothing special. I didn't do nothing extra. I didn't do anything. It just in her mind. And that's the thing also about women and they mind, especially when they in love with you. When they in love with you, they start making shit up in their <laughs> head. Like, you become the ultimate porn star <laughs> for them. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't knock that. I don't knock that. But, trust me, as a man, we're not doing anything special. We're regular fucking, doing regular fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Not fuck shit, but you know what I'm saying? Just fucking. We're not doing anything extra. And we're not even really thinking about the nut that you finna bust. Like, I like But I think that's the problem. I think that... Men, well, you ain't putting in the work. <laughs> well, I think men get comfortable. Like, for instance, if you know that your mommy can get off on her back, I think that's when you don't feel like fucking and that would be minimum work, then, of course, that's going to be your go-to. But that's a lot but of But then when him. you get in your ego and it's about you and you decide, hey, I want to fuck her from the so, back, you're missing. Let me ask you you're question. not going to make her come. So, gotcha. And you don't care. Gotcha. So let me ask you a question. You come one way and your and your spouse comes another way. What if the way that he, the way that he 
comes or get off or is excited about that's the position you like. Now what? Like, you just say, like, you come on your back. He don't like putting you on your back. So now you force him to do some shit he really don't want to do. But if he comes anyway, how do I force him to do? A man can come off a donut hole. Well, right. A woman can. So if you're going to get so, off anyway, no matter what position you put me in, and I'm not, which one of us are more important in the bedroom? You're going to get off no matter what. You just made that clear. Mm-hmm. It could be a donut hole, a, a apple pie. You from the back or you on your own back? But I said, I'm going to bust but a knowing, nut. But no, you didn't answer the question. But knowing that you're putting your man in a position he doesn't want to be in and that he does not like, now what? You still didn't answer the question. I mean, now what? Because I got to put the same. I, if, I, if, I'm, I, if I'm answering that question for my man, then I also have to answer it for myself. Yeah. Yes, I would be putting him in a position that he doesn't like, but he's going to bust. If he puts me in a position <laughs> I don't like, I'm not going to bust. Which one of us is taking the L? You still didn't answer the question. The question is, you put your man in a position he doesn't want to be in. Are you telling him, fuck him, just do it? Oh, am I saying fuck me? Yeah, because I know he's going to bust a nut anyway. So no, I'm saying fuck his me. feelings. I'm saying you saying fuck his feelings. His feelings don't I matter. I think my feelings are more important <laughs> okay. in that situation because you're going to bust that, a nut anyway. Okay. So you're not taking an L. So, so that's what, You're just being so, a brat saying so, I don't like that position. It's not that you're not going to no, come. I'm saying I'm not going to get off. You're going to fuck me and I'm not going to get off. And then I got to wait three or four more days to get fucked again so, for the chance for me to get off or not. It's not the same for you. you all you're doing is so, fucking me in a position that you don't oh, really like. But their end result is still the same. So, so they're both the same. The they are person, not so, both the, the so, same. No, no. They're the, they're the same as far as like you're saying that when a dude don't give a fuck about me, then you have a problem with that. And then you in, in reverse is saying, well, I don't give a fuck about you either. You know what I'm saying? That's and not that, what I'm saying. That is what you said. I, I can't you. say that. <laughs> I, I just The that. only reason why I can't say that is because you're just, still going to come. I Having sex has act, one result, a I nut. Just, I just actually you know that. Well, that's actually not true. Um, because actually when women actually have an orgasm, because I've had women bust nuts and orgasm in two different things. Like I've had bitches just totally just laid the fuck oh, out, man. I, I, but I'm talking about the woman. I'm talking about a dude can just literally fuck the woman and she not have an orgasm. She can come, but she don't have an orgasm. But some, some for some like me, I care more about the orgasm, not the cum that you had. And for men, that's a, that could be the exact same thing. A lot of times when I bust a nut, it ain't the same. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I have them orgasms where I feel it in my toes, my knees, my thighs, my inner core, and I feel that. That's different from what you're making me do. You're talking about I'm um, just busting a nut. Busting a nut don't do nothing for me because that's not my orgasm. That's just me ejaculating. That's what I'm saying. So you don't give a fuck. I didn't know that for men it was a difference. Well, you didn't give a fuck if you I next. feel like if nut, <laughs> nut come out the dick, you nutted. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, no. That, well, well, then you ain't experienced, though, because I've had plenty of women say, well, damn, that seemed like that was, a, that, that, was, was a, that was a, that was a deep nut. That seemed like it came from your soul or something. So, yeah, so, I know so, strong so, nut versus weak nut. Yeah, but I, you still <laughs> nutting. Me, I that's either the, nut or I don't. I don't have like that is the that is the orgasm. That is the one that snatches your soul. And every one of those is not the same. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can bust a nut and it's just a nut. Then you got the ones that just almost take you completely the fuck out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And those are totally different. So you just to tell a man just to well, just get through that nut. I'm just saying like that's not a good thing for him just because he just bust the nut because he's still trying to get through not torture. I mean it's pussy. But it's, it's just like just telling them just to get through it. They're pretty much the same thing we, that you're saying now, that men tell women just to get through it. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I say it has to be a compromise of what we come to because the conversation needs to be had. For you to sit here with a with a openly say, well, I didn't know that. That's what I'm saying. You still got to have those conversations and be like, does this bother you to the point where you just feel like you're just doing a job? You see what I'm saying? So if you say... If that's just a job for the dude, that means he's not being pleased. He's not having even he's not having any pleasure. And if he's not having any pleasure, he's just doing it just to be doing it. That's all I'm saying. What do you mean no pleasure? If you come, isn't there? No. Like no. So you can ejaculate with no feeling. Exactly. Yep. One hundred percent correct. What? One hundred percent correct. We can ejaculate with no feelings. Like I know you don't. There's no feeling in the dick before the the shit shoot out. No feeling at all. Listen. You don't feel like, oh, <laughs> fuck, and then you come? Like, what the fuck? No. Why do you think, like, why do you think that it's different? Like, if someone, you telling me you think that if someone come in a rubber and then come off raw, that's the same feeling? No. Okay. Then, when someone is busting. But you a, still, I haven't seen a nigga come in a condom and still 
He came. He toes shook. Twitter, and that might have been his orgasm for him, but there's no telling what he was mentally for that. Because I could tell you a lot of times for me, if I'm fucking a chick and I'm in a rubber, I got to mentally go somewhere because the rubber is shielding me. So I don't really feel anything. So my mind is like, damn, because we know how women get. Y'all cry when y'all don't, you know, did you come? And someone say, no, y'all get all in y'all feelings and sensitive. Oh, my God. Like, the goal was to make you come and all this other type shit. So, when I'm in a rubble, that exact same thing is happening because I'm not really feeling anything. So, I got to go somewhere real mental in my mind. Nasty, too. You know what I'm saying? To make me do that shit. This ain't really about you. This is really about me. So, that's why I'm saying, like, for women, sometimes I feel like it's the same thing. Because if I had to do that for me, I know damn well you is capable of it. So, I had to transfer my energy somewhere else. It ain't really about the female or anything because I'm in the rubber. I don't really feel that. So I'm going somewhere mentally. That's why I say it's a mental thing sometimes. So if you really want to work with me, then work with me. I got to be able to work with you in a position that's working with me. And so do I. Some man <laughs> wants you to touch your left ankle and touch the ceiling with your right hand and make your knee touch the back of your booty well, well look if you listen if you a novice and you work at mediocre speed that's what i'm saying like you ain't cut out for this you know what i'm saying you still operating though you in the kitty league and sometimes you need to step up your game that's why i've been saying like you need to rate some of these women men need to you know, step um, up their game. a lot of men games are stepped up the problem is women don't want to eat like put in all the things that go with that Sometimes men need help. So they'll ask for extra women, extra toys, extra things. But women come with that shit. They don't want to do it. They don't want to try it. They don't want to do this. They don't want to do that. They don't want to unlock Pandora's box. They want to stay in the same shit that they've been in. And that's why I say it's a mental block. Sometimes you have to get extracurricular in this motherfucker to make shit go down right. Talking about extracurricular, I think we need to get into the tap in portion of the show now if you guys don't know what tap in is it's when you tell us what you're going through and we give you our advice or comment um we've been really picking a lot of tap ins um outside of our uh viewers because a lot of stuff is happening online that we're just doing reports right so we're we're gonna jump into the any i think nle choppa and his girlfriend broke up. Um, she came out first with a series of videos crying, um, you know, playing the victim card. You know, she's had a broken heart, things like that. And I, I really did feel for her. But then when NLE Choppa came out and said, hey, I want y'all to know that I was transparent with this person. I told this person I was not monogamous. I told this person I don't see myself married to one person. I told her all of these things. And she said okay she was okay with me seeing other women everything um and it just she tried to flip the script and just try to change things and i was upset and the reason why i was upset is because i am a real fan of man i know it didn't seem like it on this particular show but most of the time i agree with how men operate and how they think and for a long time, for my female, my male friends, I've always said, look, if you can't keep your dick in your pants in a monogamous, monogamous relationship, you need to explore either being completely honest and then letting them choose or get yourself into a polyamory situation where you're not doing the wrong. Put yourself in the right. And I think that he did that. He put himself in the right. He told her the truth up front. And when it didn't work out for her, she tried to make it look like the opposite. And that it, I just, finally someone's coming out saying, look, I told her the truth. This is not my fault. I, I told her and she still wanted to do it, you know? And I just think it will slow down progression. I want more men to be like him. I want more men not to be afraid to say, this is what I'm looking for. And especially if you're high value. And a lot of times high value doesn't equivocate all over, meaning mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and financially. But right now, if you are financially fit, you are in the high value category. So that's why I'm going to place him in the high value category because he's financially fit. And someone like that is an example for everybody else. If he can tell the truth, so can you. 
be straightforward. When it goes wrong, that's when, and the backlash comes, that's what's, uh, is what was upsetting, was that she put him in the position to be judged, even though he had told her from get-go, I'm not monogamous. Chop a style, chop, chop, chop a style, chop a style. Let me tell you something, man. This goes back to the first thing, what I have been saying the whole time, this whole goddamn show, entitlement. Whether you lie or whether you tell the truth, it does not matter. Women make up shit in their head that they want to believe all the time. This shit happens. Even if the man tells the truth, that is what's so crazy about the shit. And let me show you how delusional the shit is. Let me show you how delusional women get. This nigga's 19 years old. That chick is 27 years old. 27 years old. That go to show you how much a woman will lie to they self to, I'm going to marry this dude. I see myself as his wife. I see myself as this and that. Whole bunch of tears, whole bunch of bullshit. What I have been saying from get-go immediately. The delusion. Even people sat down and said, women, are you out of your mind? This nigga is 19 years old. 19. This girl is 26 or 27 years it's old. It's hard out here. And, and, and he the, checked off the boxes. And the delusion that they have, that they tell themselves, even when you tell them the truth. So whether you tell the truth or whether you tell a lie, it don't matter because whatever Disney World is acting up in their brain, <laughs> that is the one that they receipts print out. That's the report they reading from, <laughs> and they double down on that shit all the time. That's all I got to say about that shit. You guys, that's an episode of Relations. It's been real. My name is Kana Lassiter. You can find me on IG at Kana Lassiter and at Twitter at Kana Lassiter. Yeah, you can find your boy on both platforms that Twitter and IG under 51 Spade. I want to thank everybody for joining, especially y'all on TikTok on the live. Hey, check us out on Fridays or subscribe and like on the channel because you never know. Sometimes it's Friday, sometimes it's Saturday. You want to be notified so you know when the shows come out. I want to thank everybody for the support. Hey, leave comments, man. We'll answer the questions. Y'all want us to cover different topics. Please tap in with us and so we can give y'all more content. Are you looking for these shirts? Because I got a new one. This is the inner circle. You know what I'm saying? You can go ahead and hit me up at Alpha Male God Creations. And I'm going to sign this out like I always do. 